Okay, today is not a new day. There will be nothing new today. Today is a review day, so what I would recommend is go to the class notes, download them, and try these questions before I go through them all. I'm basically going to summarize this unit. So it would be in your best interest to go through and try all these questions before I do them. Okay, so here's the first style of question we started with. We did this so that we could try and understand what exactly we were doing uh, when we solve equations. It was uh, We won't solve many like this, but it's a good thing to understand. So we have 3x plus 5 equals negative 4. We already have algebraic skills to work with this, but just so we have a visual that goes with it. If I want to get rid of these five positive ones, I need to introduce five negative ones to both sides so that they will zero out. Okay, so do that real quickly. It looks something like that. So these guys here and these guys here will zero out, okay, using zero pairs, and will cancel each other out. Now, when we write that algebraically, that's the subtracting five we've been doing. Okay, so those would cancel. That leaves us with 3x equals negative 9, which is currently what I have over here. Okay, so now division, whoops, division is splitting things up into equal groups. So if I have three groups of x and I try and put a 1 with each one, and I'm going to see how many I can fit so they're split up evenly. It would look something like that. And then I would be able to see that one x value must be equal to negative three ones. And if we came back to our algebra, we would divide both sides by three, and we would get x equals negative three. Okay, so that's just a pictorial model to go with the algebra. Uh, if you need it, it's always there. But we're going to do most of our problems uh, with the algebraic skills we've been practicing. Okay, so let's make that a little bigger. So one step problems. There's usually just one operation, so in this case, I need to undo that multiplication of negative 4. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. These cancel for 1, not 0. So this becomes x equals 24 divided by negative 4. So we, have an un, uh, we only have one negative sign, so we're going to have a negative answer. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay, so there's our first answer. x plus 15 equals negative 33, so the opposite of adding 15 is subtracting 15. Okay, so those would cancel, and we're left with x equals negative 48. And just a reminder, you can again substitute that x value back into the original, check your answers, and see if you're correct. Okay, so again, pause these at any time to try them before I do them. So if we move on to two-step, Okay, so this would be, we would expect two things to have to happen here. So we're going to use sem, deb as a guide. It isn't a rule, it's a guide. Okay, so we'll look after adding, subtracting first. So I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides first. So I'd be left with 2x, these would cancel, equals negative 14 minus 18 should be negative 32. And then this is a multiplication of a 2 and an x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals negative 16. Okay, another two-step problem. So again, I'm going to use SAMDEB as my guide. I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides first. Negative 4x will equal negative 16. Please, please, please note this. This is negative 4 times an x. So you're not going to cancel this negative 4 with adding 4. You are going to divide both sides by negative 4. These two cancel for positive 1. And x equals positive 4. Okay. Now multi-step, you could do these two different ways. So I'll try and show you both really quickly. Uh, most people will probably do distributive property first. So they'll do something like that. And they'll get 5x plus 15 equals 55. You can then proceed like you would on a two-step equation. Subtract 15 from both sides. 
and then we would divide both sides by 5 and we would get x equals 8. Okay, now that's not the only way to solve the problem. You could do this a second way. Uh, you could, and again, this is sort of going against the SAMDEV guideline, but that's okay as long as you understand what you're doing. You could divide both sides by 5 first. And if you divide both sides by 5, that 5 that's multiplied out front cancels, and you're left with just the x plus 3. I don't need to keep the brackets because there's nothing left on that side to multiply. And then 55 divided by 5 is 11. Okay, and now to get the x by itself, I subtract 3 from both sides, and I end up with x equals 8, which is the same answer I had doing it the first way. Okay, multi-step. These ones here, I wouldn't advise dividing. When you start to see a lot of brackets, uh, my experience has been that it's much easier just to distribute and then clean up. So we would distribute that 3, 3x minus 6, and the right-hand side would be 6x plus 24. Now I have x's on both sides. I want to get all of the x's on one side and all of the whole numbers on the other side. It doesn't matter what side you get them on. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And the only reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to avoid some negative numbers, which I know isn't always where I make my silly mistakes. Okay, so you'll notice all of my x's are now on the right-hand side. I'm then going to subtract 24 from both sides. Okay, and now my last step is divide by 3, and I'll end up with x equals negative 10. Now, it doesn't matter that my x is on the right-hand side. Uh, other little bookkeeping ideas you should notice. My x or my equal signs all line up. This is one way to help keep things organized. Uh, I would totally recommend it. Okay, so now scary numbers. So if we have things like decimals or fractions, we don't have to panic. They're just numbers. It's not a big deal. You'll have calculator support if you get really scared of them. That's okay. But we're going to approach them the exact same way. So I want to subtract 8.8 .8 from both sides. Okay, so these would cancel. So 1.9x equals, now if you have to, you can grab your calculator, that's totally fine. I'm going to double check just because I don't feel like making a silly mistake again in a video. Okay, so now 1.9x equals 3.8. Okay, again, this is just multiplication on this side, so I'm going to do the division. And what I might be surprised by here is, hey, look, that actually works out really pretty. Okay, so don't let the decimals intimidate you. You can still get nice answers. It doesn't mean you'll get a perfect answer every time. You can have decimal answers. That's okay. All right, fractions. Okay, we said there was a quick way of dealing with fractions, and that's one, figure out the lowest common denominator. So in this case, that is going to be 16. Okay, so that's what denominator they all could share. And then if we want to get rid of fractions, we're actually going to multiply both sides by that amount. Okay, so if we looked at this, uh, we now distribute that 16 to both terms, something like that. And depending on your comfort and your algebra skills, you may do this different ways. Uh, 16 times x divided by 2 would give me 8x. 16 times 3 divided by 16 will just leave me with a 3. Okay, 16 divided by 5, sorry, 16 times 5 divided by 8. I might cheat this one a little bit and go, well, 8 goes into 16 twice and just go 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, so play with those for a minute. Make sure you're comfortable with the, where those numbers come from. Uh, but you'll notice fractions are gone. Now I go back to solving this just like I would all of my other problems. So I'm going to subtract away the 3. This is a 7, then I'm going to divide both sides by 8, and lo and behold, here's our first not-so-friendly number. We get an answer of 7 eighths, and that's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, we can get strange answers, we can get decimal answers, we can have fraction answers. Okay, those are all acceptable. Okay, rearranging formulas, quick review of this. Uh, if you are asked to solve for A, Again, you cannot get A as a number answer, so we're just going to subtract K from both sides. 
and get A equals H minus K. Boom, done. A is solved for, it's by itself. We did all of the things we needed to do. There's no number answer. Okay, rearranging formulas, solve for Y. Now this we've seen a bunch of times because it ties in quite closely with our linear relationships. I want to get this Y term by itself. So I'm going to subtract 8X from both sides. And then I'm going to save myself a little bit of time. I'm going to add 12 on both sides. And I'm going to left with 2Y equals negative 8X plus 12. Okay, now my y is not by itself just yet, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2, or the equivalent of that is divide every single term on the right-hand side by 2. It's the same process. So these guys would cancel. I'm left with y equals negative 4x plus 6. Okay, so there's my y isolated, so I have solved for it. And now we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to find a little bit more of information with it. Okay, so find the slope, y-intercept, and x-intercept. Well, I know if I change the form, I can get those two pieces of information very quickly. So I am going to, now watch this one, this is a little different. I'm going to add y to both sides. Okay, so that leaves me with 4x plus 5 equals y. Now, that is in the right format. You might be happier if we changed it around and rewrote it so that the y was first. That's totally okay. Uh, we get the slope from this multiplier. So our slope is 4 over 1. We get our y-intercept from this piece here. So our y-intercept is 0, 5. And now we have the last one, and that's the tricky one, is this x-intercept. And we could do this a couple of different ways. Uh, I might actually just jump in back at the original expression. Okay, and I might use this idea up here. x-intercepts, I know that y values are 0. So if I take a y value of 0, this becomes 4x minus 0 plus 5 equals 0. So now I just have to solve this expression. Okay, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides because I want to get the x by itself. So now I have 4x equals negative 5, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 4, and I get x equals negative 1.25. Okay, so 5 divide, oops, divided by 4. Okay, and now I want to finish with a coordinate, so I'm going to rewrite this as negative 1.25 comma 0. And there's my x intercept. Okay, so there's some questions to try. Uh, just a bit of review, so thank you for tuning in.